Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. As you know, iOS 18.1 public beta 3 slash developer beta 6 has been out for a while. And I'm getting a lot of questions from you guys that how we can install this update. Well, I was surprised to know that most people don't know about that how they can install this update. But in this video, I want to talk about this one. Also, it is important to understand that iOS 18.1 public beta 3 and iOS 18.1 developer beta 6 are same. They are same in terms of features, performance and every other thing. So it doesn't matter which one you install, uh, but still I always prefer for you guys to install public beta. So this video is divided into two different sections. The section number one is in which I talk about that why you should install iOS 18.1 public beta and get access to the new features before the actual release of 18.1. Also, the second section of this video will be about how you can install iOS 18.1 public beta. So I will try to keep this video short and simple. So let's go. Number first thing is definitely the call recording. So call recording is a new feature that is available in the iOS 18.1. It can enhance your calling experience and make and maybe helpful for you in many different conditions. There are a lot of new connectivity controls in the control center that enhances your control center experience. So if I go on on tap on this over here, when I go to the connectivity section over here, now Wi-Fi, um, AirDrop, Satellite, Mobile Data are over here are available um, that are pretty useful. We, a separate uh, toggle for the VPN is also available. And since it is out, I am not using the grouped v, um, connectivity toggle. As you can see, since it is out, I'm not using this one. I'm using the uh, Wi-Fi one, AirDrop one, and VPN one. It seems more convenient to me and it is more useful. So these toggles are quite useful, useful and they are out. The other reason to install is that if you have iPhone 15 Pro or the latest iPhone 16 model, you can get access to all new Apple intelligence features. Unfortunately, I wanna, don't want to waste my time on Apple intelligence features because I know most of the people will not have those features. Well, about this, I will talk about in a separate video because I do have my own opinion about this one. Now, getting to further is definitely the battery life. The battery life is really amazing on the iOS 18.1 public beta 3. I love the battery life. Performance is also great, but the battery life is amazing. I did a whole separate video about a battery life that is available on my channel. I did upload it that yesterday. You can go and check out that video. If I go and show you the last day that I spent, I used my phone for around 75 to 80% as you can see. And I got screen on time of or almost seven hours, which is amazing. I used Netflix a lot, YouTube a lot, threads, Instagram for a while and still manage to get a really really good battery life so yeah battery life is also amazing but it can vary it can depend upon your usage and battery health now coming to the second section of this video that is how you can install this update well if you go to the settings and go to the general software update wait for it checking for updates by default you will not see the beta updates section over here as you can see you have to bring this section so what you need to do is you need to go to safari and after going to safari you need to go to beta.apple.com i will drop the link in the comment section below sorry in the description also now i am on uh, threads I am on Snapchat, Instagram, and even X. I was on X for a while, but now I am available on other platforms too. So the links are given in the description. It is the same username for everyone, the iOS guy 101. So I'm available on this pl platforms. Let's get connect and let's talk to each other. Let's, you know, get connect. Just follow me there. Okay, coming back to the video. Now this is the Apple beta software program. 
what it does it let you sign up for the public beta profile so from here what you need to do is you need to sign up you need to go to the sign up i have already signed up so i'm not going to sign up for it uh, because i'm already a tester so what you need to do is you just need to sign up over here once you have signed up just restart your device and after restarting your device when you will go to the software update you will see the beta updates option and from here you need to select the ios 18 public beta once you select this over here and you will go back you will see the ios 18.1 public beta 3 update for now while i'm shooting this video public beta 3 is out so you will see that update and you will able to install the update so yes go and install this update it's a decent update i'm still testing out i talk about some bugs in beta 2 i haven't seen those bugs in beta 3 but i will talk about these things in some other video so i want to keep this video short and simple well that's it from this video and i will see you in my next video until that take care Peace out.